What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T, Crazy in Love, Season 2, Episode 2, Krishan Rock and Blueface. I just reacted to Episode 2 on my Patreon. It's only $5. If y'all want to tap in, you can. If you don't, you do not have to. But I did react to the whole episode, and the whole episode is on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. But we about to get into uh, Ruby Kai. Y'all know she my favorite when she bring the tea about them, too. So let's get into it. Crazy in Love, Season 2, Episode 2. So they on the bus going back and forth about whether the baby is his or not. And then he's like, well, I got business to handle. You know, let's leave this right here. No, on first of all, he started it. He started it, then wanted to get up out of it when it was time for him to go do his little thing. Girl, we don't care about your thing anymore. You have to start my goddamn piece on a bus. And of course, she's asking for a kiss. So they do a little bit more arguing back and forth. She's snatching on him. He trying to get off. So eventually he, he gets off the bus. So they walk inside like Ike and Tina, like they just wasn't on a bus <laughs> arguing. <laughs> and she's sitting out in the audience while he doing this little weigh in. <laughs> and she was looking sad. Then she started giving him some fake support. Okay. Now, when he got on that scale, child, I was surprised. Because, baby, Blueface is only a buck fifty. So, afterwards, child, it was like nothing had happened. And he hit her with the famous toxic line that dudes love to run on you when they get you mad. Well, son, eat. What you want to eat? You uh -huh. know they love to do that. You hungry? Uh-huh. So, they on the Sprinter, and they headed to the little boxing match. And they got on their little matching outfits. Child, Krishan looked like she got on straight panties, by the way. Word. So, once Girl, they she love being naked. arrive at the uh, little arena, Blueface seemed like he was nervous to me. And whatever little argument they had had, child, that argument had went out the window. That she shit had went the puppy all the dog the eyes on. She looked like she really in love with this boy. But if he don't get it together, you know, she's quick to flip with oh, no problem. Right. So, while the trainer is giving him little tips and tricks and pointers... Krishan start giving him a back rub. And I'm like, sure, I'll just be in the way sometimes. You know, I said that when I seen um them there that day, she was just kind of on them on Instagram is what it was, actually. And I'm like, damn, give my nigga some space because, you know, there's some real shit. Now, granted, it's nothing wrong with a back rub, but it's like I'm, I, I got some shit to do. You would think he like hired a back rubbing person, but. It's okay for her to support. It's just sometimes she can just be a little, uh, you know, annoying. she real smart. <laughs> you know, you got to rub these dudes back. They like that girl. They need that. But I'm smoking weed on the back. Size, it's real soothing. It puts him right to sleep. That way, you can comfortably go through his phone while he sleeps. You can't just be toxic. You got to be toxic and soothing. See, Blueface know this also. Because after he put on this little uniform, he started fixing a wig that wasn't even messed up. <laughs> he started fixing the hat, patting it down, <laughs> finger combing it, calling her twin. I was like, okay, sis. Okay. After he got in the fight, he like, I want to fuck so hard right now. And she was like, oh, okay. I just didn't understand, but okay. Are you nervous or something? You need something to fiddle with. So they start practicing the little shadow boxing thing where he hitting her hand. And, you know, I guess he was really trying to calm himself down because she started rubbing on him again. And then it was time to go out there. He was nervous And at first, I was wondering why he had was looking like he had got his teeth done or something. But I realized he had that little mouth guard thing in. So he come he out on the stage. On it was guard. real cute. Krishan was excited. Y'all know how she was doing, jumping all up and down. He on the ring, fighting a boy. And child, <laughs> Krishan was out there performing. I mean, she was putting her own show on for the Zeus cameras. Baby girl was excited. She, was she said she there. was ready to start fighting Bobo because she wanted to get in the ring. So after, you know, he won the fight, congratulations to him. Child, he said... That fight turned him on that he was horny, that he wanted to F 
hard tonight. That's what he I said. I said, oh, baby, Blueface trying to get off that henny tonight. He trying to break your back off that yak tonight, Krishan. <laughs> you better watch. Break your back off that yak. That world. Okay. So y'all know they turned up in the club. They was having a good time, child. Somebody got into a tussle. They had the wig throwing it all around like it was a silver ear. <laughs> and of course, Blueface had that Hennessy on deck. The whole the bottle. was talking. Oh, baby, I know he blew her back out that night. I know he did. So, y'all, they left London and they was back in Los Scandalous. And that's when stuff was getting ready to hit the fan. And it was getting so real Rashawn weird. So, Rashad walks to the door and, you know, he greeted her. She rubbing on him. He, hey, how you doing? He even asked about the baby. Said, you know, let the baby breathe. And she said, oh, the baby can breathe. It and, you can know, breathe. he brings up to her how. She lied to him. You went out of town, told me you were somewhere else, and then you come back in town, and now you pregnant. And she like, you know what? I don't care about none of that. That don't matter. If you want to get a DNA test, we can get a DNA test. And as we know, they got a DNA test. They did. And I'm still tripping over the fact that Krishan ain't denied lying or doing whatever it is that he was accusing her of doing. But she what she said was, um, nigga, basically, you get in your mood and you think I'm about to sit there and I'm not. <laughs> so I was out. So he like, I mean, I understand that, but damn. And his whole gripe is she comes back pregnant. She just came back pregnant. But anyway, she, he said she came back and said that she was pregnant. So, you know, he trying to figure out who did you leave with or, or whatever to go do what you did with. And um, she basically said that she ain't feel like telling him. And he like, can you, can you just tell me, though? Uh, why, why you couldn't just say I'm about to go see my mom in Baltimore I don't want to tell you shit I don't like you right now I don't have to tell you nothing she a did mess. hit him with the we in this old fake relationship and you want me to be A1 I yeah. was like oh that's right baby girl give him a little bit of that medicine give right. him a little bit of reminder Hello. girl I wanted her to hit him with a why you keep bringing up old stuff so bad but child anyway so Blueface was basically saying that Krishan went out of town and said that she was with her friends like she was at home sleep. And he was asking her, like, well, why would you lie about that? And she's like, well, if I feel like we're not getting along and I want to get away, you know, I'm going to just hop on the flight and get away. And what I need to tell you for. He's like, well, why you can't just say that? And she's like, well, because I know if I would have left or you would have knew I was out of town, you know, you would have overreacted. You would have tripped because you know how dudes act when you out of town thugging with your rounds. They already know you out there looking for the hoochie daddies. So he started like they out there looking for uh, some women. Asking her about her family. And, you know, she let him know that the family know and that she told the family the truth and whatnot. He's like, your truth or the real truth because, you know, your truth be something else. So, dang, Krishan, you really a big liar, huh? But I, he do tell I definitely think she's a liar, but he is too. She probably picked that up from his ass. I heard that she's he's happy that her family is coming out here. You know that she got the support of her family. And he say, love your family. Don't be like me. Now, blue face, why and then, you all don't be like me? <laughs> Nigga laugh. Why you throwing it? Carlissa under the bus like that? Baby, what did your mama do? What did she do to you, Blueface? I mean, we see the little bull that she be pulling, but anytime you want to come on on here and tell us about your mama, baby, you more than welcome, okay? So his friends get there, and he asks his friends, you know, do they think the baby is his? And the friends is like, yeah. I mean, I guess everybody know you been beat the yaki and and Krishan and coming again. and going, they all know. So Krishan come down there like, you know, what's up? What's happening? So Blueface tell her that they having a meeting about her, whether they going to feed her to the fishes or she going to be feeding the fishes. And Literally. First of all, you come out there, you hear them. They ain't, they ain't trying to hide the fact that they talking about you. You know what I'm saying? And then you sit there while they all just talk shit about you. Or just talk to you in a derogatory manner, like, and I mean passive derogatory. So it wasn't like, yeah, bitch, you, you know, but it was just underlying, yeah, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody got what I said. 
And, you know, I guess he felt bad because everybody's laughing at her. So he's like, you know, cheers to rock. And then he's like, cheers to baby rock rock. And they then he said, cheers to tiny rock rock. And they're like, oh, like, you're going to double back? Like, oh, you're going to have more kids by her? And he like, for sure. And I tell y'all this, they going to have more kids. I already know. I, 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 I truly believe they going to have more than one kid. So they go to the studio and ain't nothing much happening. Then right. out of nowhere, I hear Krishan say, I'm about to hit that blunt. And I'm like, what the Oh, hell? I didn't hear that. I think if Blueface about to come out of somewhere and say something like, nah, girl, you don't need to hit your blunt. I'm thinking, you know, they're going to make a big deal out of this. Girl, no, they just kept on rolling. I and absolutely like, did not hear that. Y'all dirty. Y'all messy. Y'all really going to leave that in there. Y'all already know we be giving right. her a run for her money. While attempting to manage her personal life, Krishan calls her family into town for support. So we see Krishan and Taseki, and Taseki is like, let me know when you okay, because you know, when you okay, I'm going to take a shot. Then you hear her other sister. And that doesn't make sense. Why did you have to announce to me that you're taking a shot? And then you got to say, but let me know you okay first. Like, I care about you so much. I need to know if you okay but let me throw the fact that I'm taking this shot in your face, knowing damn well, if she could, she would take a shot. Mr. Tessa say, how long you been feeling like this? And Krishan is like, I don't want a kid no more. And then she go in the house and she like, what a bottle at? And everybody like, she asking for the bottle. She asking for the bottle. And her sisters is like, nah. And she like, yes, I can. I could abort the child tomorrow. It won't hurt him. And she like, she gonna go out the country. Just talking And Tessiki crazy. is like, well, girl, you know, I'm gonna take a shot for you. And I'm like, damn, Tessiki, if you wanted a shot, boo, you should have just said that you looking for every excuse opportunity to take your shot girl just and and gotta rub it in her face though and just consistently girl if you don't take this motherfucking shot and leave me alone just take your shot why do you want to take a shot in front of your pregnant sister anyway that's craving liquor like girl i don't hello understand. then she start playing games with the shot talking about we gonna sit it right here then she started talking about we gonna pour it in the bottle she girl, did what the is entire you most then, with that shot i gonna say well you know we gonna just go kill the baby tomorrow and Taseki is like no we gonna find out what the baby is and she's like, she gonna no. say i just feel like you know i can't take a shot around you you can't <laughs> move. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to take a shot around me, girl. I already know it's his baby. I'm getting rid of it. And that's the fun part about it. Like, basically seeing that she know that it's his baby and that she gonna still kill it. And that's the fun part about it. What? So she steady crying to her sisters that she doesn't want the baby. And they're basically pressuring her to, you know, keep the baby. But Krishan is telling them, like, you know, I can have a baby when I'm in a relationship and I'm happy. Out of right love. now, I'm not cool. That's not a good time for me to have a baby. She even tell her sisters that she wish it really didn't even matter because she couldn't have that baby. She can go to sleep and not wake I mean, up. Kill Blue the was really sending this girl through it and stressing her out. So Krishan is like, you know what? I don't even hear, I don't even want to hear what y'all got to say. And Krishan go outside and baby, Krishan went outside and got in the hot tub, fully clothed. And I like the fact that her sisters was like, you know what? We are about to hop right on up in here with you, Booty. Right. And then uh, Tasiki, you know, she said she had to go in the house real quick. We already know what she went to go do. She went to go get her drink. But Krishan was telling Tessa that, you know, she did want to have a baby. She was struggling to get pregnant. And right now, she just don't want to do it with him. So Tessiki come back her? outside and she's like, y'all, let's go in the house. Let's get this food ready. And they let Krishan have a little moment to herself outside. And the ladies, they went in the house. And, you know, they getting the food prepared. And Tessiki, she like, you know, we need to curse some music on. We need to change this vibe up in here. And Krishan is just sitting outside by herself in a hot tub. Then she get this clever idea to drown herself <laughs> like she just dunked herself in a pool and i'm like oh lord the with dog. a whole sweatsuit on by the way start barking and i'm like i know this zoo security and this zoo's cameraman ain't about to let this girl just drown while they recording it luckily she did pop up and her sister came out there and she was crying to her sister telling her she don't want to be famous no more i really felt bad for this baby at this time because it's like this girl is going through so much right. she's dealing with this fame us getting up on 
this internet, dragging her every day. <laughs> she filming this show. Now she pregnant by this dude who don't want the baby. Right. Damn. Who? I was glad this episode. Sure, I don't think uh, Prashawn give a damn about us talking about her on the internet. I don't even think she see it. So it was coming to an end because it was hard for me to keep from crying. So now on next week's episode, they down at the clinic and they getting the DNA test. They swabbing a uh, blue face mouth and they drawing blood from Krishan. And then, of course, they go into the back so they could do the little ultrasound. And Krishan asked them, like, is it too late? And her mama like, no, uh, it's too late. And so the lady tell her, like, you know, she 20 weeks. They point out the eyes, the nose. And the mama child, the mama was trying to get her lick back from blue face. I know next week it's going to be I'm a about whole to tell handful them. in the But what making. are you telling them? But y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about this episode. And I'll see y'all around. Bye. Child, hey, y'all. I love this child content. Um, Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, Once again, I got it on Patreon right now. Get it while you can. It's $5 to join. Okay. I just reacted to the whole episode. Tap in, link in the description. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Bye.